Hey guys, and welcome back to Monka, where stupid shit ensues, and today is no different per the usual. Except today, we're talking about a bit something different. Yeah, I know. For this first time, we're actually going to be talking about Oreos. Specifically, Oreo Mocha Caramel Latte. A limited edition flavor. I found this at Target for $4, which is kind of a ripoff, but I'll get to that in a second. But... Yeah, Mocha Caramel Latte, kind of an interesting one. Like it says, limited edition. So eventually, like a lot of Oreos, it's just gonna disappear eventually, but you know, that's just how it goes. Now, why I say it's a ripoff is it is $4 at Walmart, but you only get 12 servings for this little thing. And usually for a $4, you can get like the family size one, which usually has like 17. So for $4, you're pretty much getting skimped like 10 cookies from the Oreo container, but it is 12 ounce, 0.2 ounces. You get about 24 cookies in the container so 12 servings two cookies is 140 calories to be expected that's about if you didn't know usually the limited edition ones are of double stuffed variety so two per 140 is pretty fair for you know double stuffed oreos but the long and the short of it is you know these aren't half bad i don't mind these these are right i they're pretty all right and i like them decent enough now am i gonna miss them when they're gone since they're limited edition not really I mean, they're they're all right, but they're not amazing to me. I'm not the craziest guy for coffee anyways, even though they don't taste entirely like coffee. I'll get to that in a second, but first off, let's go into appearances. So you probably couldn't tell from the cover, and god damn, it smells like I can smell all the way over here. But as you can see right there, there are actually two different layers. This is the standard chocolate wafer, but you got a layer of what looks like chocolate, but that's more of the coffee component, and then you have that layer right there which is more like the caramel later to kind of combine the caramel mocha latte whatever flavor like i said you can smell it when you open the package all you smell is coffee like straight like even like if i open it right now from here and it's sitting a decent distance i can still smell the coffee it is fucking potent smelling of coffee which was a bit worrying at first because i was so worried that this was just going to be straight like bitter tasting coffee since it's like when you open the package it just reeks of coffee i've never had the java chip but i imagine it's kind of the same where you open it and it like just smells straight coffee but honestly it's not really all that coffee forward and i'm not going to complain because i'm not really a big coffee for desserts type dude i'm not a big coffee drinker in general but the coffee flavor is there but really not overwhelming and it's kind of like on the back end this is kind of like if you took coffee and dumped a bunch of creamer in it pretty much the exact way i like it <laughs> if i drank coffee i would drink it with just a shit ton of creamer i don't really drink coffee anymore though but the coffee flavor is really light and really overwhelmed by like that really really sweet almost creamer flavor which i'm guessing what is what a latte is i don't really drink latte so i couldn't tell you it's really really sweet with just like that coffee for kind of getting put on the back burner to just have all like this general sweetness i wouldn't say it tastes like caramel exactly it just tastes like a really heavy like creamer forward coffee is what it really tastes like and i'm not going to complain because honestly that's pretty fine i enjoy it enough but i imagine people who are like i love coffee i just want coffee flavored shit you know this is probably not going to be for you because just very creamer forward tasting and honestly the coffee just surprisingly gets overwhelmed which is strange because coffee is a very strong flavor so for it to get overwhelmed is pretty surprising but with multiple components going on here with that like really strong sweetness from guessing the caramel adding this almost creamer component to it and then you also have the chocolate wafers the coffee just kind of gets mishmashed into this weird like cascade of flavors that is enjoyable but it's kind of weird because you really get this cascade of like really heavy sweetness that tastes like creamer and then it's chocolate from the wafers and then kind of that coffee on the back burner like i said the coffee is more of a lighter coffee and it isn't bitter at all which i really like but it's just so overwhelmed by every other element that's like there's really three elements here battling itself out the caramel part which i would just describe as tasting like creamer and then the chocolate wafer and then the coffee flavor and really with all those hitting each other and clashing you're mainly going to get the sweet kind of creamer flavor and then the chocolate and the coffee more on the back burner except the chocolate is more prevalent than the coffee it's really strange and really in my taste buds it just does not taste heavy of coffee it's kind of strange i won't lie for something that's supposed to be coffee flavored it really isn't all that coffee forward but you can still taste it it's just more on the lighter side which i don't mind but overall my opinions on it is honestly 
I like it. It's fine because I'm not very crazy about coffee, like I said. But I, I enjoy these. I mean, like, I smashed four last night and I was just fine. Like, I didn't get overwhelmed. Like, I imagine if, like, with the Java chip one, which, like I said, I haven't tried. I have a package of it. We'll see how it goes. But I imagine with that one, the coffee flavor may be a bit more forward than this since that's just, like, that's Java chip and not, like, a caramel mocha latte type of deal. If you see these, honestly, they're worth a try, yeah, I guess. If you like coffee or, you like, caramel mocha latte or you just want to try out them on the specialty Oreos, it's worth a try, but it's not nothing to go crazy over, honestly. It's not like you're going to lose your mind over it. Will I miss it when it's gone? Not really. I mean, there's other Oreos that, like, way more than these like i mean like you got like honestly chocolate peanut butter pie and like birthday cake are absolute bangers of oreos and like you know golden oreo thins are fucking banger and right i'd rather have all three of those over something like this but it's fine to try out honestly if you like it but if you're going into expecting coffee though i would expect to be a little bit disappointed because the coffee's kind of more on the back end than all the way up front like you might expect from something labeled mocha caramel latte thank you very much for watching until next time I'll see you. Stay chill.